She saw not now fate's dark and lethal holes. A golden circle around the mystic sun disclosed to her newborn predicting sight the sight. Click on your of a sovereign life. Once, as she sat in deep felicitous mood, an abyss yawned suddenly beneath her heart. A formless dread with shapeless, endless wing, filling the universe with its dangerous breath. A denser darkness than the night could bear enveloped the heaven and possessed the earth. Then, from the heights, a greater voice came down. The word that touches the heart and finds the soul. The voice of light after the voice of night. O oh, so bear not thy kingdom to the foe, that all in thee may reach its absolute. God must be born on earth and be as man, that man, being human, may grow even as God. Cast off thy mind, step back from form and name, annul thyself, that only God may be. Thus spoke the mighty and uplifting voice, and Savitri heard. She bowed her head and mused, plunging her deep regard into herself in her soul's privacy in the silent night. Her body's thought climbed from her conscious limbs and carried their yearnings to its mystic ground. Where Nature's murmurs meet the ineffable.
Only sometimes small thoughts arose and fell, like quiet waves upon a silent sea, or ripples passing over a lonely pool when a starry storm disturbs its dreaming rest. Then all grew still, nothing moved anymore. Immobile, self-wrapped, Timeless, solitary, a silent spirit pervaded silent space. Like a violet trace, a faint record, merely of a self now past. She was a point in the unknowable. Infinity was her own natural home, 
Nowhere she went. Her spirit was everywhere. The distant constellation wheeled around her. Earth saw her born. All worlds were her colony. The greater worlds of life and mind were hers. All nature reproduced her in its life. Its movements were large copies of her own. She was the single self of all these cells. She was in them and they were all in her.